Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. GitHub Copilot just released their new CLI tool and its name is GitHub Copilot CLI and uh, currently it is in the public review. Here you see GitHub Copilot is now in public review. Build, debug, deploy with GitHub Copilot coding agent without leaving your terminal and it is same as the Gemini CLI, Cursor CLI or the Cloud Code. But here I have seen that people are giving the positive feedback and here also I have tried it on my own laptop and this is the interface that you will see this is very cool and also here you will find many options so if you just press slash here you will find many options to interact with this terminal so let's see that how to use it and uh, also here you can add your MCP okay and uh, this is the official notification that is where you see what is new terminal native de uh, development and github integration out of the box so basically uh, before this github copilot cli we had to use this vs code and here there was a copilot extension and from here we can interact with this code base uh, by selecting this agent mode and the model but here from now on we can do the uh, in interaction with the terminal and uh, here you see that agentic capability mcp power extensibility and full control okay and one person written on twitter that with the release of github copilot cli github has now completed all of the form factor so inline autocomplete this feature was previously on cursor and wind serve but after uh, this github copilot extension in vs code this autocomplete feature also was there now after this in id chat so cursor new client juni this type of extension was there and after that copilot also uh, provided us the same feature now github spark that was the one another product of github that was a chat to code like the lovable and bold and this background agent and now this cli and it is same as the cloud code and codex or this um, google Gemini CLI right so in this github copilot we will get all of this facility so we don't have to go here and there to utilize all of these features now how to use it i have given this link in description github copilot CLI this is the github link just go there and scroll down below and here you see that linux mac and windows all are available to use this and this is the requirement that node.js version 22 uh, is required so if you go to this node.js and download and there you will find this website and here you see that the latest version is 22 so just download it okay and after that uh, where you see npm version 10 and uh, okay windows powershell and version 6 higher okay so now let's install it so just copy this command and run it in your uh, terminal or command prompt and just paste it like this press enter it will be installed globally now after that when you want to use it in your project then just run this copilot just copy this copilot this is the command that you have to run and after that here you see that this type of things you will get so first it will show you this screen and this type of screen after that you uh, choose the yes or no option then only you will get this and here you see that it is asking me to log in so you can just uh, use this slash log in and here just press enter and here you see that github.com or github enterprise cloud with data residency so github.com through github.com i will log in so just press enter okay press any key yes with for authenticator that the process is same and here you see that you will find some uh, options like uh, add directory clear exit feedback and just uh, press the down arrow key and here you see that help feedback list of directory and this is the mcp just select this mcp here you see press enter and now press a for adding the new mcp server so if you just press a you will find this kind of things and now here it is asking that uh, do you want to add the mcp through uh, http or ssc then just uh, select the tab option so if you select this tab 
then you can uh, move below that you see if you want to use this uh, hyphen a my server in this kind of uh, command arguments then you can choose it and paste that mcp code here and press enter it will work and if you want to uh, use it through an environment variable then this is the option and through tools this is the option okay now from to exit from here just press the esc in your keyboard and to quit it just press the q so this is the things and another thing is that uh, it is very helpful to uh, to debug your code because many people have actually given the positive feedback and if i show you that how do you see how do you see where is that yes just tried the new github copilot cli and wow it is quite good i asked to fetch issues explain code and even suggested project ideas the coolest part it actually scanned my repo and gave me solid ideas based on them so basically he uh, tried it uh, in his existing project and he asked it that what can be the possible project ideas that you can uh, that he can use his existing project so he, it has actually give gave it uh, gave him a uh, lots of ideas and uh, uh, here you see the smart email assistant and another some things okay this kind of many project ideas that uh, github copilot gave him and the missing thing in this github copilot cli is uh, like it doesn't have that kind of sub agent things that we really have in uh, cloud code right so this sub agent and agent mode and hooks mode there are actually very specific uh, feature that is available in cloud code but that features are not available in any of the cli like gemini cursor or this github copilot cli also other than this what i have found that this uh, new github copilot cli is very good for finding the issues and uh, for providing the best user experience and uh, i think you should try it on your own okay so please try it and i have shown you the full installation process and let me know your thought your experience in the comment section and uh, yesterday i made a video on this kimis new agent mode on ok computer and this gpt5 codex my own experience that i have tried it with wine sir so please let me know and please uh, watch the other videos also bye bye take care and see you in the next video